He needs the head of the snake. He likes the head of the snake. He does not like the middle part of the snake. No. <laughs> Well, I think he's not holding it because it's uh, yeah. yapping. <laughs> yeah. Try to give him the head of the steak. Okay, he's got it. Wow. Whee! Because he prefers the head of it, so it doesn't... There you go. Okay. Now, need to work with all of his favorite toys. All of them. So he needs to be letting this everything go. Anything he has is his mouth. He's like, well. I don't really know what I want. He's got it. He's got it? Not really. <laughs> nope. What? Snakes like is a favorite to a fall, but really Okay. Oh, that was good. Got it. That was good, Bowie. That was good! Whee! <laughs> hours and hours and hours of that. So good. Such a good boy. Nope. No. What? Now notice that when he's not listening to her from the first second, she is giving them pretty much a timeout, so she's not com coming back to play really uh, right away. She's making them wait. Um, and if you watch the video before, I mean, he was really just rebiting the second he dropped it off in the past couple times when he listened to her from the first second. So that's important. Again, they do understand that. They absolutely do understand that. And all your play should consist of this very, very, uh, all your play should be like that. Now, please note how calm he is, okay? And that does not come from you running him five miles a day because he can run five miles a day and not going to get tired. This comes from his mental workout. This comes from working him um, on his obedience and everything else. So it will need to be your priority once he comes back.
it almost looks like you have to think about each leg yes. <laughs> at the same time. Yes. <laughs> it's it's one process. individual leg. It's a process. It's like my legs got so long, I don't know how to control them all. And exercises like this needs to be done with all his favorite toys. He needs to control himself around all that. And that exercise should be put in pretty much every game you have with him. So you play, play, you do this, and then you play, 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 play. That's how it needs to be. So every time you play, kind of plan for this exercise just so he learns to control himself independently from how fun um, the situation is no. No. good job and if he corrects himself that's all good Those ears are really grew. So, however you want to handle that um, in your house, um, it's fine. Like in our place, you see there's doorway and then there is a step. So normally we allow dogs to go all the way as long as they're not stepping down, they're fine. Now he doesn't have to sit, he doesn't have to do anything. Really, he just needs to respect that uh, boundary. In my case, it would be the step down. If you didn't have the step, that would be that doorway. It's gotta be a physical barrier. Um, same at your door that leads to garage. If you have a garage, I don't know, but it should be a physical barrier. If you don't have a physical barrier, put like a, a, um, a like, a, what is it? Uh, electric tape on the ground. Let's say you have a light, ground put the dark electric tape just to cover and show him where the boundary is once it's done you can remove that tape and forget all about that but um practicing that at every door that would be great now that's why we had problems with doggy door in your case because the large dog like that um it will lead to some additional issues um, so I know you're not doing it and I know it's all good, I'm just saying.
that's what should happen. He needs to respect the boundary. And be here we go. Here he's Carrie. And here we go. Now she still thinks he's coming over, which he is not. So she's going to convince him that he's not. He still wants to come out, but he's not going to come out. He loves the yard. He loves running around and all that stuff. So she's. It's a nicely showing that he is not going, but that's a good thing because he wanted to go and he didn't. Going? I know we keep doing this behavior, but that's one of the base behaviors that every dog needs to know because if he comes out of that crate via disrespecting that door, flying out when he wants to the second the door is open, then your whole interaction with him is going to be pretty much based on that. So practice that and make sure that he is very respectful when he is coming in and out. This is obviously not his crate, it's just a crate that we used for, um, for videos here on the outside, so he's not all that comfy in it, but he's pretty good. And that's another thing, it's a good thing to sometimes put him somewhere and make sure he's dealing with this. And that whole thing needs to be exaggerated. Just what Carrie is going to be doing. This must be exaggerated to that degree. And if you only do it when he is ready to come out in the morning, you're never going to get this right. So during the day, put him in, take him out, put him in, take it out. Just work on that. And that way, every time you'll do that, he will compliant.
Um, I wouldn't reinforce so much walking on the plates. Okay. Um, I would actually wait until he comes down because I think he thinks that the more, the faster he walks, the more treats he gets. That's a much better way. And that's even better. So it does look a long time for him to go down. The thing why I'm going to let this go now is because he is on a very awkward growing stage. So some days he will not be um, adequately using all his legs and can put them in a one spot <laughs> in his head. So while he is growing and until he comes back the next time I am going to let this slide as long as he is moving down and not sitting there he's okay however he's taking his time because if you think like he's thinking one thing at the time um, and that sometimes does happen when your body grows too fast and he really when he runs or doing whatever it is like the the very instinctive behaviors then the body complies and works perfectly but when he starts thinking about it um, everything is kind of awkward so there is no problem with that yeah. now that was a little pushy no, no. so Carrie's not gonna reinforce him and she's gonna make him stay on the down for a while because he, yes, he thought about it, but then he also thought, what if I don't? <laughs>
All right, Natalie, remember where the camera is. Thanks. Okay, next time wait longer. Okay. You you want to be very much um, extra. Well, right now you're just looking for a treat unless it fell. Did it fell? All right. All right, like a normal human being, walk out and then walk in again like a normal human being and go past me. And you are not, you don't, you don't reinforce him that fast. Okay. Talk to him, but walk past by. You can do so much better than that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but. All right, now both of you coming back and release the dog. And you don't talk to him anymore, but just kind of stay there. Okay. She's like, she's there. She left them because uh, he got up. His elbow went off the ground, that's why she backed up.
place note that they're exaggerating Stay before asking him for something else. Um, his attention span is, I wouldn't say short. People, uh, people assume that, the, oh my goodness, my puppy can't have attention span on whatever it is. But it's pretty decent, but you have to develop it more. So the more you develop it, the better he's going to be. So constantly exaggerate when you train. Um, make it longer, make longer stays, make longer um, in between asking for something. And do not allow him to anticipate. I wanted to stop it, but I'm not going to because he's starting to show her that he has no interest anymore. So you cannot stop when that happens. You have to work him and you have to make him um, do what you ask him to do and he cannot finish sessions. That's why we're still going to roll and we're still going to work because you cannot stop when dog says, I want to stop, because then he's going to stop right in the beginning. Right. Well, it's kind of hard to walk three minutes. He tends to raise his elbows off the ground a lot, um, so please pay attention to that because actually elbows on the ground is the definition of the down. So he needs to keep his elbows on the ground as long as he's on the down stack. Um, he does it a lot, so really focus on that just because how far is too far, you're not going to be able to explain. So the easiest thing is keep criteria the same. See, when she comes up, it doesn't mean I can just get up and run. <laughs> it's such an 
awkward. Awkward boy. Is that stage? Whoa. He's like trying, but not obnoxious. <laughs> Oopsie. I was laughing too hard. And yes, a couple times you say no, he's trying to actually drop it to see if you can, if you want to um, give him more attention and whatever. So he now understands what that is. So what a silly boy. No. Good. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful man. Um, I can't see it, so it's great hug, but can she go? Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Is that over? Over. Over. Good. Over. Good. Over. Good. Over. Good. Over. No, normally we uh, are unable to do it with puppies like that uh, in two weeks, Good. but Down. he's doing it. So that's why it's an extra video of them interacting. Yeah, kind of, sort of, but that's okay. She's stepping on his back, that's a good thing. <laughs> that's the best spot, so... And that's usually puppies don't allow that, but... Uh, we worked on that because... He was very touchy. Touchy-feely, so... We had to work on that.
Now this is an important part. You see that she's not addressing the dog right away? Because people who address the dog right away make him all anticipated the second the conversation is over, he'll break it. So that is an important part to separate two things. And that way he knows that only until you come back that's when he is going to be released. So please make sure you practice that even without, like she had a person on the other side right now, but practice with and without that person. And again, first thing wasn't get him off the thing but reinforcement for staying on. Okay. Um, so as far as the nails, we noticed how mouthy he was. Um, so the nails we recommend you to only do when he is in the muzzle. And the reason for that, we muzzle trained him so he doesn't really care of being in it. Uh, reason for that is so you don't worry about where his mouth is, I mean, where he mouth, his mouth is, and so you don't stop or, you know, worry about it. So that's just going to keep him much better. Um, that should be what your sessions look like, does not necessarily have to be cutting, but uh, we are cutting um, at this point, and we constantly, every four or five days, we cut a little and a little more. You can use a Dremel, that's fine. We just, we always use the cutter Good. things because for us, we want to make sure that we um, desynthesize the dog to it. Um, he's not liking it, as you can see, but he's accepting it. That's all that, that matters. Please don't. Thank you. Okay, have a good night. So... That's great. And uh, one foot at a time is a good thing. Um, that's not the only time you do muzzle training. Please understand that. If this is the only time you're going to do it because that's convenience, uh, you're going to lose that muzzle behavior altogether. So even Carrie now is just having a little muzzle training session right here. Do not push to. Huh? Pay for each nail because he's not comfortable. Doing over there. <laughs> no. The end of it. Carrie needs to go get some more treats. Yeah.
Anywhere, I don't care. Probably from the other side over there. <laughs> All right, that didn't work down. out this plan, right? Yep. Nope, down. Good. That's fine. Uh, I'm sure you can. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move them just that way. Inside. There you go. Can you see over here? Yeah, I can see over here. Well, there you go. I can see it now. Yes, there you How go. How about that? Awesome. Pay before you do anything else. Thanks. immediately we don't want associations we don't want associations like oh um, we done so we can just do all of that so and actually as of right now because he is presenting that other paw mm -hmm. I wouldn't be uh, taking the muzzle off um, I would just continue with that just because of the positioning Normally you would. Um, Good. That's what's missing, Jerry. Yes, Sorry. there you go. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, pay. Thanks. Just because yes. human error doesn't mean that the animal Good. didn't do what it's supposed to be there. Do. Okay, if it's hard, again, pay him. Adorable. Okay, if we see that you need to grab this foot, good, hold it, pay for it. Okay, and one more time, grab that foot. You reinforce that with a treat. Good. Manipulate the foot. Just you want no bad reactions whatsoever. Yep. Good. And pay for it, and we're done. And again, before you take a muzzle, praise the dog. Pet the dog, spend some time with it, and then take that off. And you're clear. Excellent. 